Um, Recess was started in May of 2009. And one of the first things um, that was important for us to find was a space. Allison Weisberg, who's the founder of Recess, was interested in kind of challenging an existing neighborhood in Manhattan. And she ended up finding a storefront in Soho. Um, and the idea of um, presenting artists' works in a space like Soho that for decades had had a history of alternative or artist-run spaces or um, any combination of those ideas was really appealing, as was the, um, our hope. One of our goals is to kind of challenge um, a neighborhood that's become a bit institutionalized, perhaps a bit stayed in what artwork is able to be presented there as some of those younger spaces were obviously priced out. Mm -hmm. um, so that was our main space. That's still our headquarters where all the staff works. And then for the last about two years, um, so beginning in 2010, um, we have a satellite space in Red Hook, which is a neighborhood in Brooklyn, right along the water, called Pioneer Works. Um, and those are our two main spaces. Okay. You know, what do you feel like it means to be an artist run or alternative space in New York right now? Right. Um, it's interesting. I mean, we, we really, as much as possible, look to the artists that we work with to define what our space can be. Um, so um, we, we try and shrink or grow to fit an artist's vision, whatever they come to us with. So in that sense, um, we're always a little bit different and we, we try and stay nimble and flexible. We're a very small staff. There's two full-time people, one part-time person. Um, and just, I think if at any point we feel like something's becoming a little inflexible, we kind of check ourselves. Well, like what has that looked like in specific projects in the past? Like sure. Um, well, our, our main projects, our main program is called Session, and it's similar to a residency program. Um, an artist applies with a proposal in mind to take over one of our two spaces and the artists who are invited to have a session receive about two months in that space. They suggest the timeline for their project, whatever makes the most sense for them. Um, they get 24-hour access to the space. They get um, a material stipend, which hopefully covers all the material costs and any labor costs that they need. Um, and then they get an honorarium, which is unrestricted use, just kind of a gesture of thank you for their time. Um, so some specific examples, um, it was in 2011, terrible heat wave in New York, the worst, I've lived in New York almost 10 years, I've never felt anything like this. We were working with an artist collective Spirit Tours who had built, um, they're kind of interested in like junkyard spiritualism or like a, like a commodifying or like making a spiritual experience um, one that involves tourism. So they had found this giant fiberglass skull from an abandoned mini golf course and they turned it into a fortune telling machine. Okay. Um, so they were offering tarot card readings for our visitors amongst many other projects. Um, and towards the end of their session, they decided to have their own fortune read, which would dictate the last couple weeks of what happened there. So they had the tarot card reading and um, they pulled, I'm gonna try and remember, it was hot house, water, and I think money. So they had these ideas, what are they gonna make? Um, and they decide to make a big water slide in our front space um, that kind of cut a diagonal across the floor plan. So people would walk up and then um, walk up a set of stairs to the ceiling and then shoot down this water slide out our front door and onto a big pad that we had put out onto the sidewalk. Um, and, you know, it was, it, we definitely grew <laughs> in that sense and we're so happy to support the project and um, take a leap of faith. And um, So, yeah, it's, I mean, in, in a lot of ways it's extended to very physical manifestations of that trust and that flexibility. Um, but then there's also more ephemeral ways. We've had artists who um, 
work nine to five and are in school and we really want to work with them, but they can't devote, you know, when you have a session, it's essentially a part to full time job. Um, but when we want to, when we really want to work with an artist and they really want to work with us and they have all of these other time constraints, we'll find other ways to make it happen. Yeah. So we, we worked with an artist, Christine Sun Kim, um, who was getting her MA at the time and um, also working in museums. And so her session took the form of six one week events as opposed to two continuous months. Okay. Um, yeah, so to wrap up, I was just kind of interested in who you view as Recess's peers, like who you look to um, as doing similar work or just kind of um, what you're responding to is generally ways of working currently. Yeah, um, locally, we're, we're close by to the Lower Manhattan Cultural Council, which has a residency program. Um, and the people who worked there were, were very kind advisors um, when Recess was just starting and gave us lots of great advice just about setting up structurally. Um, and it's nice to have a peer in the neighborhood who's been there for some time. Um, outside um, directly of Soho, I'm also a huge fan of Triple Canopy, um, and some, um, which is an online journal. And they also do projects um, online and in their space. Um, and so I, I, I just think that they're so smart about using the medium in the best way possible, which is something we really think about a lot at recess as well as how do we have a space? How do we best use that space? We're operating in this neighborhood that has such a historical background. How do we, what do we do with that? I think that makes sense is like the space as recess as medium is a really interesting idea because you do allow it to be changed so much and mm -hmm. it is a kind of discrete thing sort of where they're working but also where the public forum takes place is all in the same so yeah it's yes. literally the same I mean when someone walks in the door they're in the project immediately um, and space of course is is one of the most difficult things to have in New York um, so I think it's one of the things that is um, one of the greatest assets that we can give our artists.